Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazztime.com and today we'll be doing a comparison between the Rolex Submariner here on my left, reference number 116610 versus the Rolex Explorer, Explorer 2, reference number 216570 here on my left. We'll be going with the price, dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, class, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay. So as of June 20, June 2017, you can get the Submariner at the authorized Rolex retailer for $8,550, or you can get it at jazztime.com for as low as $7,800. For the Rolex Explorer 2, you can, uh, as of June 2017, you can get this at a authorized Rolex retailer for $8,100, or you can get it at jazztime.com for as low as $6,750. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right into the dials now. So for the dials, we have very similar dials in the sense that they both run a maxi dial, which is the circular hour markers with index at the six, nine, and 12 o'clock position that are 30% larger than the typical Rolex hour markers. Um, the one minor difference here is that the Explorer 2's uh, hour markers are actually a little bit larger than the Submariner's. That's mainly because the case size is a 42 millimeter case, so it has a little bit more uh, area for, uh, for the dial. So more readability on the Explorer 2. They both have the same Mercedes hands and minute hands. All the hour markers and the hands are fashioned in 18 karat, uh, 18 karat white gold per to prevent any tarnishing. <clears throat> Uh, another difference here is that the uh, Explorer 2 has a orange GMT hand, which helps with the tracking of an additional time zone. Um, and we have the Explorer 2 name also in that orange as well. Okay. Besides that, they both have the date at the three o'clock position. Uh, date at the three o'clock position and at the six o'clock position, the Submariner has the water resistance uh, so water resistance and its name paragraphed at the bottom opposed to the Explorer 2 which is, has the superlative, uh, chrono, uh, superlative chronometer uh, officially certif certification there. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the bezel now. So the bezels, uh, bezels obviously very different here. The Submariner runs a, <clears throat> apologize, the Submariner runs a unidirectional rotatable 60 minute graduated scratch resistant serochrome insert in a ceramic. The numerals of the 60 minute of, of the, all the indexes to the 60 minutes are coated in a platinum, whereas the Explorer 2's bezel is a fixed 24 hour, uh, 24 hour graduated bezel. It has a sand, uh, a sort of a brush steel sand finish to it, so it's very nice as these are both sports watches, whereas the Submariner is more of a diver's watch. Okay. Besides that, the functions, the functions of each bezel. Uh, for the Submariner, you're looking at tracking elapsed time. And for the Explorer 2, you're looking at tracking a different time zone. So two different, uh, two very different features. Um, you can actually check out how they work these features on their individual individual watch videos on our YouTube channel. Um, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and move on. So let's go ahead and check out the case now. So the case of the Submariner is a 40 millimeter case. So that's 40 millimeters in diameter from my index finger to my thumb. For the Explorer 2, index finger to my thumb, you're looking at 42 millimeters in diameter. So additional two millimeters in diameter. So it gives that, that dial a little bit more space, so a little bit larger hour markers in hands for extra readability. Okay, for the side profiles, look, let me go ahead and shift these over. For the side profiles, you have the, you have the Explorer 2 and the Submariner. Uh, the Submariner has a little bit smaller profile than the Explorer 2, and that's mainly due to the movement. Um, the, the structure of these cases are the same. They're both monoblock, middle case, screw down case back, and winding crown. But the movements, the movements are complete, uh, movements are completely different. Whereas the uh, Explorer 2 has that GMT hand that, I sh that I've shown you earlier with the orange hand. That actually adds an additional complication to the movement, meaning the case has to be a little bit larger to hold it. So a little bit higher profile on the Explorer 2. Okay, let me actually show you the crown crown side now. 
So with the addition of the little bit of larger case, you're gonna have a little bit larger crown as well. Still have both, both of them still have crown protectors and a nice high polish on these sides. For the crown functions, I'll actually go ahead and show you here very quickly here. Let's start with the Submariner first. So for the Submariner, it's a screw down, twin lock with double waterproof in the system. Unscrews counterclockwise to the hand winding position. This initial position is the hand winding position. A simple tug will allow instantaneous changing of the date at the three o'clock position there. And then the final tug will let you uh, uh, set the hands bi-directionally. Okay. Once, once it's pulled out to the final position and you can set the hands, the second hand or the hack movement will stop moving to allow you to set the time to down to the exact seconds to such things as an atomic clock. So very precise time setting. Always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight back against the case. Uh, specifically for the Submariner, you're looking at a water resistance uh, as labeled on the bottom there. 300 meters or 1,000 feet. Okay. Moving on to the Explorer 2. Explorer 2 has a little bit of different crown functions as that GMT, as we do have that GMT hand. So once again, it is a screw down twin lock or double waterproofness system crown. Unscrews counterclockwise and pops out to the first position. Once again, you can wind the watch at this position. A simple tug. A uh, simple tug will change uh, will allow you to adjust the hand or the hour hand independent of the minute hand as you can see and of course two revolutions of the hour hand will change the date as you can see there at the three o'clock position okay and a final tug will bring you to a position where you can set the hands bi-directionally once again same thing with the second hand it will stop moving allowing you to set the time precisely to such things as an, as an atomic clock. Once again, crown nice and tight against the case, and the water resistance of the Explorer 2, uh, vastly inferior to the Submariner, of course, because this is not a diver's watch. You're looking at a uh, water, resistance, water resistance of 100 meters or 330 feet. Okay, so let me actually go ahead and move on to the bracelets now. So for the bracelets, you're looking at the similar, very similar bracelets, pretty much the same. Um, they're 904L steel bracelets, oyster bracelets with a brushed steel uh, sand finish. For the clasp, you're looking at a smaller clasp than the Explorer 2 opposed to the Submariner. Submariner has a larger clasp. And there's a reason behind this. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you on the Explorer 2 first because it'll make more sense this way. So for the Explorer 2, they have similar clasp styles, which is the folding safety folding oyster, which is a little hinge holds down the folding oyster to reveal the clasp blade and the high polish with the Rolex name embossed on there. But the main difference here is the feature behind the clasp. So the Explorer 2 has what's called the comfort extension link, which means you can pop that bracelet out and you can move it forward for five millimeters of increment of adjustment forward or five millimeters backward. And it snaps right in. So very good, so very good feature to have, uh, mainly for summertime, wintertime. Uh, summertime, when your wrist gets a little bit hot, it starts to swell up and the, wrist, uh, the watch will start to feel a little, more, a little more tight on the wrist. And that gives it a little more breathing, breathing space. But the Submariner, once again, same, same type of style. You have the safety, and then that houses the folding oyster, class blade with Rolex name embossed on there. Um, so here's where the difference lies is once again in the class or behind the class and Rolex has really stepped it up from that comfort extension um, to what's called the glide lock extension link so as you can see there's little rivets uh, in the class now so it takes it allows for two millimeters adjustment uh, two millimeter increment adjustments so you can up to 20 millimeters so the bracelet can be extended an additional 20 millimeters and this is great so it accounts for you know your wrist it accounts for your wrist being hot uh, or your wrist being cold swelling not swelling and overall great feature much easier to use much more flexibility and uh, much more flexibility in using it and it also 
is nice for other, th other things too, such as if you want to pass this watch down to your son, uh, if he's a little bit chunkier, is he a little bit skinnier, you can adjust for that instead of having to take it to a jeweler just to remove one link. So very nice feature, to, very nice feature to have. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the movements now. So for the movements, uh, the submariner here in my hand, and here is the Explorer 2. So as you can see, very similar case, uh, very similar case backs. They're both Oyster case backs that houses their move individual movements. On my left, the Submariner um, houses a 3135 uh, perpetual mechanical self-winding movement in the house made by Rolex, one of their uh, tried and tried and tested movements. It's a mi minus two plus two seconds a day. Um, precision and a functions of the center hour, minute, and seconds hand with the instantaneous changing of the date, the, uh, the stopping of the seconds hands for a precise time setting, and it has a power reserve of 48 hours. Now, for the Explorer 2 here on my right, you're looking at uh, a perpetual mechanical self winding movement as well, but the caliber is a 3187 manufactured by Rolex, and it's a GMT movement which is why we have that additional GMT hand and that's why the case is a little bit larger for that complication. Still has the same precision, minus two, plus two seconds a day. Has the functions of the center, hour, minute, second hand, uh, the 24 hour display, the second time zone uh, that has a, a rapid in the rapid setting of the hour hand, independent from the movement of the minute hand. That helps and also helps with the changing of the date and also has the same feature of the sex stopping in a second hand for precise time setting. Now one main feature that one main feature that the Explorer 2 has that the Submariner does not have is that the oscillator, there's a high performance paraflex shock absorber in the Ex Explorer 2. And that was and that is a in-house made shock absorber by Rolex and it adds as they quote 50% more shock absorbent than the industry standard and I believe the industry standard was the KIF shock absorber. Otherwise, the power reserve of the watch is also 48 hours. Okay, let me actually go ahead and show you these watches on my wrist now. So here on my left, Submariner. Oops, pop that out. Simple, easy, bam. Just overall, very beautiful watch, very standard. Now let me actually go ahead and show you the Explorer 2. Okay. Again, bam, bam. And there's the Explorer 2. That little orange accent really makes, really pops with that black dial. Okay, so there's those two side by side. Okay. So if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com. We have the lowest prices guarantee. We offer free shipping and a one-year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.